This video is on Network Basics and this is, the, this is part two of the Network Basics series. And I'm focusing in this video in particular though on the, the table or matrix representation of a network. So if we, we can actually express the relationship between the vertices or between the objects um, using a table or, or a two-way table. So here's an example to begin with. Uh, if you look at the top row and the, and the left hand column, you can see that the vertices here are, are labeled and anywhere in the table that shows a one, that just that shows that there's a, a connection between um, these two vertices. So for example, between A and B, there's a one there. That means that there's a link between the two. Notice that this is not a directed network. In other words, the connection from A to B is the same as the connection from B to A. So you can see that these two ones there um, Basically, they, it's symmetrical across a diagonal. Okay, uh, there's a connection from A to D, which means that it's the same connection from D to A. So this one is an undirected, unweighted network. Okay, so let's draw it. Okay, so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to draw four vertices. Okay, it doesn't really matter where you put the vertices, as long as you try and and I guess. Uh, put the vertices in such a way that you don't have too many edges crossing over each other because it can get quite messy. Um, so let's start off. So I'll go row by row. So on the first row, it shows, uh, as in when I say first row, the first row of the table that, that shows the connections. Um, in the first row, we've got A, B, A, D. Okay, so there's a link there. So A, B, and A, D. Okay, second row. Okay, now B, A, that's already listed, so that's okay. We've got B, C. Third row, CB, well, that's this connection here, so that's already been done. And last one is DA, and that's already done. So this network, or this graph, when you say the graph, it's just the diagram, is the, is the uh, representation of the network in table form. So these two are networks. This is what we call table form, or sometimes called matrix form, but table form is a more common term. This is what we call the graph form. Okay, both of these representations represent the same thing. Okay, it represents the same relationships between these, these sets of vertices. Okay, but one is drawn as a diagram, one is in a table. Let's have a look at another example. Okay. Could we express a directed network uh, or a weighted network the same way? And of course we can. With a directed network, if you remember, directed networks have the arrows. Looks like looks like that. Okay. So let's uh, repeat the same process. I'm just going to just put dashes where there's no connections there. Okay. Now notice that also there's a, a from and a to. Okay, so the, the column is the from, the row is two. So I've, drawn, I've used different colors as well. So we're going from the reds to the blues. Again, there's four vertices. So I'm just going to draw the four vertices. Okay, probably just in a square pattern. A, B, C, D. Okay, so the first connection is from A to C in that direction. Okay, so from A to C and arrow. Okay, the and there's nothing else. Okay, from A to anywhere else. Now we have a connection from B to A. Okay, so that's going back. B to A. Okay, the way you speak it is that gives you the direction of the arrows and the direction. So basically, the the uh, the statement when you say from from B to A, well, it's exactly in that direction. So you put the arrow accordingly. Uh, we have and the so from B to D. Sorry. I'm going to draw a, okay, yes, they don't have to be straight lines, okay, they can be curves. So from B to D, there is a connection as well. Okay, now we have the C, from C, we have C to B, there is a connection, okay, and in, in that direction. Now, we have one from D to A, okay, so going back this way, yep. And we also have one from uh, D to C. 
Okay, so this way as well. All right, and that would be the the graph representation of the the network that's in that's originally in table form. Let's have a look at the weighted network. Okay, so same thing. Um, this is a weighted network. It is not directed, so there is there's going to be no arrows. There's no from or to. Again, let's draw our four vertices. Okay. You can pause the video at any time. I probably should have said that earlier, but you can pause the video at any time, of course, and just have a go at these for yourself and then just compare your, uh, your work solution to my work solution and just see if, they, if, if it looks somewhat similar. The vertices might be in different places, but the, the relationship should still be the same. Um, and you know, it wouldn't hurt to maybe, maybe every so often, just make sure you, you, know, you practice this. You're welcome to replay the video at any time, of course, and that's why these videos are being produced. So, okay, let's do the same thing again, like what we've done before, A, B, C, D. Uh, now, what you notice is that from A to A, there's an edge here that's worth three. Um, now, that means then, what, does, what do you call a, an edge that starts and ends at the same vertex without going to any other vertices? All right, it's called A, it begins with L, called A, loop. All right, so there's gonna be a loop, okay, like that. Okay, whoops, I shouldn't have put an arrow there. Uh, we'll get to that one, where we have weighted directed networks. Yes, that's possible. So there is a loop there at A. Uh, we have, oh, sorry, there's, uh, so I don't say three. No, it's a weighted network, of course. Three, uh, A to C, we have a connection, and it's worth two. Okay, so notice that you have to put now the numbers uh, on the edges. Um, all right, make sure no arrows, all right? So it's a weighted network, not a directed weighted network. If it says from and to, then obviously you'd have to put the arrows in. And, and the last example we'll do will be a combination of both. All right, uh, let's keep going. Um, B to C, we have an edge worth one. Yep. And we also have B to D is worth five. So I might again go around there. And that's worth five. Uh, C to A. Okay, edge, that's already there, it's two. Uh, C to B, that should be the same. Uh, notice that it, again, across the diagonal, okay, one, one, five, five, two, two, it's the same thing. So you can even just look at one half of the table and, and that should be enough. Um, I think that's it, uh, D to B is worth five, we've got that one already. So yeah, you can confirm just to make sure that all the edges are there. Um, it's not directed, so it's not like you have to put an edge back the other way. Um, and I think that's basically it for that one. Yep, uh, nothing else there. Yep. Okay, last example where we will look at a weighted uh, directed network. So that's our last one there. But then we'll look at another example where we, we have a graph and we want to produce a table. So we'll leave that on a, a sort of very last. So weighted directed, directed, weighted directed network. Okay, let's draw four vertices. Okay, A. B, C, D. All right. Okay. Now we need the arrows and we need the the weight, or you know, sort of on each on on the edges. So from A to B. Okay. Arrow this time. All right. A to B. That's worth one. Okay. Its weight is one. And we have A to D is worth three in that direction. Okay. There's no um, there's no uh, symmetry necessary uh, necessarily around the diagonal. Okay. So it's only for undirected networks that the connection in two directions is the same. So A to C, C to A should be identical. You'll notice here that they're not in a in a directed network. Okay. All right. So that's the connection from A to anything else. Okay. What about the Bs? So from B to C, there's a uh, there's a connection there, an edge. Okay. In that direction, and it's worth seven. Uh, A to D, sorry, was worth three. Um, we also have B to D is worth five. All right, now that's it for the for the Bs. So what about the Cs? So C to A, okay, is worth three. So we've got to sort of go. We've got to go backwards. Okay, that's worth three. Okay, now we have uh, D to A. Now it's kind of like a multi. It's a, it's a, it's a multiple edge in, in a sense, but um, in a, but they're in two different directions. So we we they're actually separate. Okay, so. Uh, D to A, what was it, 10. 
So we're going to go oh, much to the outside actually. So D to A in that direction. Oops. Okay, and that's worth 10. And D to B is worth 2. Okay, its weight is 2. Okay, and that would be the an example of a network uh, diagram or network graph that represents this particular table. Now your vertices could be in all over the place. It could be I could have labelled these differently. Uh, it might look totally different, but the connections are still identical in terms of the relationships um, between the vertices. Okay, last one. So let's say you were given a tape a, a a graph, okay, or a diagram, and you were asked to produce the table. Okay, so again, there's four vertices. So Let's not do this as quickly as I can. All right. Again, you can have a go at this. You can beat me to it if you like. All right. And one more. Sorry, I know the, the, the tables are sort of rough and ready. I'm drawing them fairly quickly. Okay, A, B, C, D, A, B, C, D. Okay, so there are four vertices. All right. So from A, we have a connection. So we've got A to B. There'll be a one there. Okay, it's not weighted and it's not directed. Don't have to put arrows, froms, or twos, or anything like that. All right. Okay, A to B, and we also got A to C. Okay, and there's nothing else there. Now, if A to B, if there's a connection from A to B, there's a connection also from B to A. So I'm going to automatically fill these ones in. A to C, it means C to A. There's a connection there too. Okay. Um, there's no there's no loops. Okay, so there's none none of these sort of None of these things happening, okay? So because there's no loops, uh, the vertex can't come back to itself. So I'm going to put dashes there. All right, and let's have a look and see. We got uh, the Bs now. For, uh, so from B to C, we have a connection, which means from C to B, we have a connection. And there's no connection from B to D, okay? Which means D to B, there's no connection there. Uh, now the C's, we have a connection from C to D, okay, which means from D to C we have a connection. And there's our completed matrix or table that represents this graph, okay, or this network diagram in, uh, in table form.